I've got a quick question for you. How do you react when you lose a business deal, a contract, a client? And what, how do you react when you lose the second one, the third one, the fourth one in a row? Do you get upset? Do you get angry? Do you start saying to yourself, oh, maybe this entrepreneurship or maybe being sales is not for me? How do you react? Now, before you give me your answer, I'm going to show you a 90 second clip. So let me just cue, cue it up for you. The NBA playoffs is happening right now and I'm a huge NBA fan. And one of the top players, his name is Giannis. His nickname is the Greek Freak because he's seven foot and he is just so freaking agile. Now he led his team, Milwaukee Bucks, to the best record in the NBA this season. There are 82 games in the NBA and he led them to 58, uh, somewhere around there. So that's about a 70% winning percentage. So people are thinking that, you know what, they've got a chance to win the championship because they've won it before and it's the best record. But they didn't. They got their butt kicked by the, uh, by the Miami Heat and they lost the playoffs and they're gone. So on the 27th of April, um, a reporter asked Giannis, do you consider this season as a failure? Watch what he has to say. Do you view this season as a failure? <sighs> oh my God. Uh, okay, because I'm not that... Up. We, you asked me the same question last year, Eric. Okay, uh, do you get do you get a promotion every year on your job? No, right. So every year you work is a failure. Yes or no? No. Every every year you work, you work towards something, towards a goal, right? With, which is to get a promotion, to be able to uh, take care of your family, to be able I don't know, um, provide the house for them or take care of your parents. You work towards a goal. It's not a failure. It's steps to success. You know, and if you've never, I don't, know, I don't want, to, I don't want to make it personal. So there's always steps to it. You know, um, Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championship. The other nine years was a failure. That's what you're telling me. No, I'm asking you a question. Yes or no? Okay, exactly. So why are you asking me that question? It's a wrong question. There's no failure in sports. You know, there's good days, bad days. Some days, some days you are able to uh, be successful. Some days you're not. Some days it's your turn. Some days it's not your turn. And that's what sports is about. You don't always win. Some other other people's gonna win. And this year, somebody else is gonna win. Some All right. So three things about that video stood out for me, and this is the lesson I want to share with you today. First of all, liking sports, same as business. If you're not prepared to lose, you might as well don't play. Because I have yet come across any successful business owners, any successful clients that has not lost. So if you're not prepared to lose from time to time, you might as well don't do it. Second thing is double up your efforts. Double up your efforts when you lost a deal, meaning that phone twice as many clients, send out twice as many proposals, meet up twice as many uh, 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 meetings. And the same applies when you win a client, you double up your effort. That is important because, so you don't get complacent. The third thing is, you know, there's no winning or losing in sports, only steps to success. And I think that's such a wonderful way of thinking when it comes to business, you know. There's only every day that you try, um, there's, there's only steps to, to success. And it's very, 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 very important to have to maintain this healthy mindset, because if you are okay with losing every now and then and have this healthy mindset, guess what? You get to play another day. You get to stay in the game of business just a little bit longer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Ciao.